Two dead, two more missing, hundreds of thousands without power. Many others in Maine today feeling widespread impacts of the storm. Like in Moscow, Mark Scott got this drone footage of major road washouts on Stream Road in Moscow. Good evening. Thanks for being with us at 5 o'clock. I'm Brian Yacono. Amanda Hill has the day off. As the sun came up this morning, people all around the state got a very clear look at the damage from this storm. In fact, we just learned about an hour ago, Governor Janet Mills now declaring a state of civil emergency. So this move gets state resources to 14 of Maine's counties. One of those includes Piscataquis County, and that's where New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch got a look at some of the impacts firsthand. In the central highlands, a swollen river spilling into towns along its banks. But this one's been the worst one we've had here in, in quite a long time. After a powerful storm moved through Maine Monday, heavy rains and snow melt leading the Piscataquis River to dangerous flood levels, rising 12 feet in less than 24 hours. You could not walk across the road. I mean, it was completely underwater. As the river crested early Tuesday, some locals like Robert Williams rushed to help their neighbors taking on water in their homes, seeing the river covering everything completely engulfed in water across the road into the houses across the street. Streets, businesses, even a baseball field filling with the river's current, slowing the motion of daily life. The wind and rain has caused a significant problem uh, with road closures. Leaving some to place this right after the great flood of 1987 in terms of impacts. It's not quite as bad, but it's pretty close. But despite the roaring river, local officials like Guilford Road Commissioner Jeffrey Libby say it could have been worse. We're very fortunate that we didn't have a lot of snowpack on the ground, or this would have been much, much worse, probably getting close to the 87 level flood. Now, as the Dover Foxcroft area cleans up the damage, a common belief that moving forward will happen together. And there's townspeople everywhere trying to help one another. Those who have been monitoring the Piscataquis River say water levels have started to fall throughout the day. But as you can see behind me, flooding is still widespread. In Piscataquis County, Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.